Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign where we're trying to beat the game on Legendary Iron. Uh, beat, not beat, Saiken, don't get ahead of yourself. Where we're trying to survive on Legendary Iron Man difficulty and are trying to knock out as many factions as possible. We're playing Royal Rumble, which is double enemy squad side, uh, size, yellow alert and every single un fair imbalanced enemy that you can theoretically imagine plus a lot of other nerfs that make us weaker matter of fact we have destroyed all three of the chosen and now it is time to one after the other throw the other factions out of uh, the mix try to survive just long enough to get then overrun by Advent. the first faction that we want to get uh, rid of are the raiders these kind of invisible uh, junkies it's it's really the uh, reaper faction all over and we've already invaded and found their stronghold and now it is obviously time to uh, fully kill them we got rookies with us because they are not that strong uh, compared to the other enemies that we're fighting against so this is really just a learning opportunity ataxia was the only one who was not uh, completely tired after the last mission so i'll i suppose get him with us we have three healers, so they can hit us often, very often, and we would still withstand that. I think it's fair to take that mind control thing out and instead get one of those nanoscale vests. That's fine. So Lyrical here is like super well uh, protected and armored, can be our frontliner. We got Lyrical, Shinrod, Aviator, Jeranx makes his de debut here, and we got Haywired. So that's a pretty damn good team. Let's directly jump into the mission and see how well we are doing. All right, we landed. And apparently, we need to kill everyone. One thing that I learned about the Reapers the last time is they do have. Quite a bit of oomph. And if you don't treat them with respect, you might get killed pretty fast. Let's have a look, shall we? Well, six seems like a good position. They are low on hit. What just happened? Um, okay. Well, I wasn't exactly expecting that. Oh boy. I tell you what. This almost asks for an absolute solution. Marksman, 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 Ghost, Hunter, Hunter, alright, I'll save uh, the Lightning Hands and we're instead doing Face Off. This might be the best Face Off in history of XCOM. I just wanted to take High Ground. Three down, four down, five down, six down, seven down. Eight down, nine down, 
10 down. 11 down. Right, if you ever manage to kill more than 11 in one go, leave a comment uh, down below and let me know. Because I think that was a pretty rare find. Kidding me even more. Alright, Comet Presence. I'm trying to just kill as many as possible. Good, so 12 down. Come on. Good. 13 down. Did I just see another guy? Yeah, I think I saw another guy. We got to use our tanks. Oh, wow, well, there are even more. I know one of them is standing right there. Might as well move closer. little pricks. I should have waited with my face off. Good, moving in with Lyrical. Telling me there are still more. No problem, All right, Wilson moves up. Next try. Hayward technically needs high ground to be really effective for death from above. Good. Implacable. Gets another action. I know that there are Reapers behind here. All right, might as well take the shot. Good, full cover rush. This aviator with his grenades can be quite helpful next turn.
Franks moves up, has the flashbang. And given the amount of just apparently invisible targets here, I'm almost thinking about just throwing that flashbang, but instead moving to full cover. Okay, so that throw was really weak. Unfortunately, it did not hit anything. Good, Shinrod. Gives an aid protocol. Or moving into position I think we can't like charge in with everyone overwatch with Hayward thirteen hit points Wow the Hans master what the heck? Um, excuse me? Did they just spawn around him? Or was I dreaming this? Even more. We are screwed, guys. I hit the armor. For whatever reason, they hate Wilson, and Wilson gets a lot of heat here. Interesting. It feels like killing quite a few of them and still many of them are left over. I know that there was one guy down here. It sucks that they are from time to time just starting to disappear but what sucks even more is this Hans master so we will need to deal with him yeah that really doesn't matter anymore nice hit I like it. We have nothing to fear. Our ally is lost. There you go. But I tell you what, if he had Reaper as in resetting after every kill that would be fantastic
good. Let's kill that marksman here. There's still one down there. Good, Wilson returns fire. up removing two further guys over a teamwork right. let the front line continue to do their thing let's hear Wilson I don't want anyone to die right here Moving to here, opening the door, uh, still doesn't give us a view, that is unfortunate. Jarenks moves over, apparently triggers the kill zone, okay. Alright, no further enemy in that zone, which is good. We got threat assessment, which I actually would put on our sniper. Overwatch with Hayward. And we're moving to here so that Bladestorm will kill the marksman, hopefully. Untouchable, baby. Ouch, that's 10 points of damage. Not bad. Okay, well, that's a lot of damage. Over here. 
Did we just fall down? Of course. Might trigger one overwatch from the kill zone. That's why we need armor. I didn't get through to the main. That should kill three of them. One is has turned invisible again. Good, and Twitter moves up as well. Alright, moving in further. So the guy is standing somewhat in the open, I see. Lyrical moves to here, should still be fine to see him. Ranks also moves up. They are falling over really, really easy, but they are also dealing quite a bit of damage. moves up Shinrod moves up and giving aviator here the 8 protocol normal 8 protocol without any overwatch implacable <clears throat> moves back. Alright, we're stunned. Despite the 8 protocol. It's unfortunate. Luckily, they can't really reposition. Because the moment that they're trying to do that... We can very much just kill them. Alright, another kill zone. Cool. Well, one thing that is sure is we now need to heal. I've lost count. But I'm quite happy that we've brought healers with us, and I must say, since all of uh, these guys are invisible, and 
are dealing a lot of damage. Actually, it's more challenging than I would have thought. Okay, certainly doesn't help that our 90% shots are not hitting. Good. I will remove the kill zone first. Good. I remove the kill zone. Now, off our front line. Moving up with ranks. Oh, come on. I think we almost got it, Wilson. Maybe kill the last guy here. Alright, Shinrod moves up and overwatches. Our sniper moves into the middle and overwatches and we'll bring Implacable back so that he does not get ambushed and that might be it. Or not. This is certainly a visual bug, right? He's not just standing right next to me and we're not firing. Oh boy. Time to get implacable. Implacable reloads and I mean, look, we got one shot here. Let's give implacable an eight protocol. Just in case. And we're killing the rest. Counter fire, interesting. There we go. That hopefully teaches you. All right, 
still can't see them. Moving over, Jarenks helps on this side, overwatches. Inquisitor reloads, overwatches. We're overwatching with Implacable, Aviator overwatches, and. The last guy should theoretically run into us. What? He can shoot twice? Wow. I mean... On face value, their pure damage is actually quite impressive. Implacable needed multiple turns to just be healed up. Well, look at you, complete shocker that there is someone here. Alright, why did it say 40 when it really uh, meant 46 enemies? Holy moly. Uh, that was... Not as difficult as the missions beforehand, but still, there is a certain difficulty of them being invisible and just not really obtainable. I think the perfect counter, though, is two snipers with fanfire, and then you're just, like, moving in, putting everything out, and you're going on and... Uh, not fanfire, face-off, and you're just clearing the board. Alright, and we got a couple of promotions. Miracle! It's run and gun! Love it! We got Shinrock here with Field Medic, and uh, finally. We got Hayward uh, with uh, Face Off, which is pretty good. Kill Zone isn't bad either, I like both, but I think we're going with Face Off for now. 100 Intel. And on guard for three, the heavily modded vector rifle used by the Phantom's Huntmaster. Okay, cool. That seems like a unique weapon. On guard for thee. We also got supplies and more intel and a promotion or implacable and that ladies and gentlemen means the first faction is out of the ring uh, the raiders could be the next one which is actually the bandit faction i think we're going to do that that's another promotion theoretically ready But boy, do we have many wounded soldiers, so that might not be for us. How many more days do we have? Hmm, eight. Well, do we have a quickie? Something that is really fast. Nine, eight, eight, seven isn't looking bad. I tell you what, we we need Inter anyways. And Shinrod.
could be the one going through that. Yep, there could be an ambush, but so what? Then we're just going to fight the raiders. It's seven days. That gives us enough time to continue the infiltration for the raiders then. And finally the promote soldier, or oh, we're definitely going with rapid fire here. Good stuff. Uh, he is a genius uh, though, so we might want to take a look through the training center. And yeah, we're currently our primary team. Still could use the uh, AP. Got quite a few. Sonar looks fantastic. Could give him Reaper as a finishing instrument. I like the idea, it's not bad. It's not bad. I like I like the idea. Twenty-five for chain shot is a bit too pricey. I think we're going sonar as our main as our main character or as, as the main ranger in the first team could definitely benefit from it. Uh, Cannon certainly is busted. Absolutely fantastic. Good, but implacable here. Oh yeah, Shredder. Oh wait, Shredder or Reaper. Now nah, we're going with Shredder. It's just too good as an ability to pass by. Who else needs upgrades? Wow, Russ has Shredder. Hmm, that's pretty damn impressive. Untouchable here for Zirkim, which is also good, but he doesn't have enough points. Okay, no one here seems to have any points left. I, th I thought there was one, maybe enough points. But that might have just been implacable. Okay, cool. Good. Let's get the negative traits out of the way and we can't really upgrade anyone. Okay, cool. Very well. So, the name of the game now is Get Back Australia. Five more days and the training takes five more days. That's not good because I fear that uh, if the training is completed, we might get a rookie. I can't have, I can't risk getting a rookie in the training. Sucks because it wastes a bit of intel, but I want to keep the live fire training. Oh, I could have done it the other way around. Uh, stupid me, because I have instant connections. I wouldn't have live fire training either way. Because there is no, no um, resistance tower here. Good. Plasma Lance is a no-no at the moment, so we're continuing with Warlock Weapon. I will make that our highest priority. Commander, the aliens are still moving forward on the Avatar project. I think we still need to deal with the facilities. There are still alien rulers around. Might as well do one of those soon. Very good. Cool. So we got life by training. Could have done that. And saved 80 intel, but could have, should have, would have. Doesn't really change anything. 
We're going to get some intel from the Covered Ops mission. And I'm, I'm wondering what are the options here? Extremely powerful alien. I, I would love to make a poll now and ask you guys, do you guys want to see kind of an alien ruler with a prime team? I think the answer would be yes. Let's get the wall of weapon and then we're going. Or let's not. The hive. Interesting. Got an engineer here and a hidden event. Protect the device. Ugh. And this here is basically saying the new dark event, uh, Thunder Mountain, will finish. Oh boy. Thunder Mountain was the new um, Stun Lances. Hmm. Am I really going to to go for protect the device? I mean, the scientist would be really helpful. Gatekeeper Prime. Ugh. This game is something else. Exalted Pathfinder, Elite Sniper, Mamba, Elite Lancer, Elite Spectre, Elite Trooper, Fanatic Bishop. I think the Gatekeeper Prime is bad but we can somewhat do it i don't know how a yellow alert works if they just rush for the device and then it's over or maybe they are just rushing to us and say f it it's time to get to you so yeah i don't know maybe we're doing uh the protect the device i'll figure it out and then afterwards once warlock weapon is done i think we then would uh, go for uh, this facility and slowly but surely go through the facilities. I was still hoping we would get the the uh, Viper King, but apparently he is gone for good. Apparently he's gone for good. Anyways, if you've seen a Viper King or want to train your um, ability to Frost Breathe, Frost Breathe on uh, the like button, I promise you, once you click it, it stays up. Thumbs always uh, solidly frozen upwards. That's how it should look like. Thanks a lot and see you in two days. Bye bye.